Good morning, everyone. It's Melody Lane here. You are watching Melody Lane. With me, you're gonna have a great crafting time. Hi, guys. Welcome to Design Space 3 tutorial live. Everything you chat put in the chat will be in the video and it's going to stay there after the video is on replay. So, um, that's it. We have a lot of people here chatting already. This started the chat early. That's awesome. And let me see. Let me stop. How is the sound? and video quality today. Last night it was horrible video quality. I didn't realize how bad it was. And then I checked my internet this morning and I was not going through my modem. I was going through Xfinity Wi-Fi, which was horrible. So I re-uploaded my Munch Pack taste test video. So now you can actually see the video and my face isn't stopped in stills. So I re-uploaded it, so if you watched it last night and really didn't see that much, just heard me, um, you can go back and watch that again later. Not right now. All right, it's much better today. Good. Sorry about that. I'm still learning. Well, I'm always learning. I'll never stop learning. Okay, today we're doing design space. All right, and if you have questions, please put them all in capitals. And um, what else was I going to say? This is what happens when it's live. Uh, put all questions in caps. I'm going to show you a few things in Design Space, and then I will take questions afterwards. Thank you, Joan. She says, I'm synced. Say hi to Kiona and Sherry and Lynn and Lillian, Glenna and Linda and Connie. Connie was here earlier. Anne and Vicki and Scrap Crafters and Donna. Thank you all for joining me. Okay, now let me find my design space. There we go. You guys can see it. Let me find it. There we are. Okay, so this is Design Space 3. For those of you who don't know, you can use Design Space 3 or Design Space 2 right now. Uh, some people I have found out in the groups have a problem. They're afraid to use Design Space 3. I don't understand, but they're like, oh, I'm gonna wait until it's out of testing. It's really better than Design Space 3. So, you can use it. You can go back to Design Space 2 if you don't. They're just different websites. So there's nothing to be afraid of. Try it. Uh, if you don't like it, it's pretty much going to be this way. <laughs> uh, it's still in beta. It'll still be in beta for about a month or so, maybe longer if it needs to be longer. As soon as it's ready, they'll make it be what it is but it's still in testing and the testing is for you guys to test too. It's a public test. So if you guys have problems, there's a feedback button. If you don't know, um, right here at the bottom. So you can just click that button and give your feedback. Uh, a lot of people said what happened to the canvas. The canvas isn't there. If you want the canvas there, tell them in the feedback. All right, okay, so remember put questions in caps. I will try not to be distracted by the chat. Let me know how you guys like the chat in the video. I know I've had some comments that they don't like it, they can't read it, it's distracting. I've had other comments where they love it. It makes more sense now in the video so they can see what people are saying. I personally love it. I like to watch other people's live chats that have the live chat in the video also. I like to see the chat and what everyone's doing or saying. Hi, Peggy. Hi, Kim. Okay, so uh, today we're talking more about finding images. The reason for this video, 
let's just go to the canvas um, place I don't think there's anything there anyway the reason for this video is because I saw somebody ask somebody posted a picture with some cupcake wrappers and somebody asked oh where do you get an SVG for cupcake wrappers so I wanted to just say well search in design space but before I just told her to search I went to design space this is what I do all day when I'm not recording or editing videos. I try to answer questions. So sometimes I first, I go to Design Space and make, I wanted to give her a number of how many there are in Design Space because there are so many. I'm staring at the camera talking to you guys and you don't even see the camera. I feel funny doing that. Hi, Melissa. Hi, Amy and Jeannie. Okay. So, a lot of you don't realize how to search. So, okay, let's, if you were searching for cupcake wrappers, here's what you would probably search for. Right? Um, tell me in the chat what you would search for. Hi, Jamie. Thanks so much for joining. I know it's early for you. And I want to say this now before I forget. Next week, this video will be at 1 p.m. on Saturday because those West Coast people really need to see the videos they want to join, but it's too early. So next Saturday, I'm not going to do it every Saturday. I, I may do one Saturday a month. It will be 1 p.m. Today at 2, though, I have to go get my hair done, so I couldn't have done it this time. So... Um, it'll be 1 p.m. And when you're looking for my live streams, you can always go to my channel page and scroll down a little bit and it'll show my live streams. There aren't any there right now because I don't have any more set up yet, but when I do have them set up. Okay, you guys would type in, some people said cupcake, some people say cake, some say cupcake wrappers. Okay, not one of you said what I would type in. So that's why I'm here. Okay, so if I type in cupcake wrapper, I have 577 results. But then I also have all these cupcakes. Like I have all these awesome Cupcake wrappers. Oh, I love that one. I can tell that's a Jen Goody image. Um, but then I have all of these. This isn't what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the cupcake wrapper, not the cupcake. The way that the search works in Design Space, and now here's one that wasn't near the top. You know, I might have missed that one if I stopped scrolling because do I really want to scroll through the 500 images? Probably not. Okay, so here's what I did is I just typed in wrapper because if you type in, which there's no space, just one word, like the cupcake wrapper, it brought all the images that are cupcake and all the images that are wrapper together and I don't want to just do cupcake otherwise I have to scroll through all the cupcakes there's hundreds of cupcakes so I'm like I just want the wrapper so I search wrapper and there's 178 images and wrapper now these are my images that I have for wrapper like this is a purchased one this is a close to my heart image if you don't have the close to my heart or the exclusive images that may be in circle cartridges that I purchased, they won't show up here. But isn't that, like this totally looks like fire, but I think it's supposed to be grass. It looks like fire because it's orange. If it was green, it would look like grass. So you won't see this one unless you have this cartridge and you can't buy that cartridge through Design Space. Hi, Timber Hill. So then, because I know it's so hard to search through 60,000 images 
Okay, are there any questions on that? Is there anything else you want me to search? Okay, I'm going to um, skip that. Answer the questions. Now, there's also cartridges. So it kept my search for wrapper in there, and then I clicked on cartridges. And then there's a whole cartridge for cupcake wrappers. How many of you knew that? It's an older cartridge. I purchased it a long time ago, but it's in access. So if you have Cricut Access, you have it for free. Now, if I were to type in cupcake here, I really don't know what it's going to be. I've never done this. Okay, then there's a cupcake cartridge. I would get that. Uh, scrap craft. Scrap Crafters is asking where you can buy cartridges that aren't in design space. Uh, the Close to My Heart cartridges are only sold through Close to My Heart. Um, it's a multi-network business thing. I forgot the words for it. What's that called? Um, or there's Circle cartridges that you can buy through Cricut Circle. Okay, and something else. Can you search birthday cards? Okay, let's go back to images. What do you guys think this will bring up? And can I add that this is Cricut Design Space 3. Did you see how quick that was? Okay, and I'm live streaming. That was quick live streaming. My computer is using a lot of process. I got lots of tabs open on my computer. I got this going. I got the chat, and it was that fast. Okay, look what happened. <laughs> Birthday cards. So this brings up 914 images. It brings up everything for birthday and everything for cards. So it's not just going to show you birthday cards. It's going to show you all these great birthday images that you can put on cards. And it also shows you cards like this Christmas one. And it showed you playing cards. Yeah, you have to get it from a close to my heart representative. Um, so what would maybe, tell me in the chat, <laughs> what would be a better thing to search for this? Can somebody tell me? And this is delayed a little bit. So what should I search for if I want to find birthday cards? Does anyone know? Right, Scrap. You have to simplify your search. Yeah, Linda, we can do searching on fonts too. I'll do that in this video. So how can you get only birthday cards? Okay. Cards birthday? Mm, no. It's hard, I think, to search only birthday cards because Cricut was always set up for you to create your own cards and create your things. Um, if we type in happy birthday, we get all these things that say happy birthday. This one wasn't uploaded. I did in pick monkey video. Um, okay, but I'm going to scroll through these really fast. See how fast I can scroll while doing live streaming, uploading, Look at all these. So now I'm also getting things that have the word happy in them. Okay, so if we type in just birthday, we also get these that aren't cards. But if you want a birthday card, all you have to do is 
either create your own card base or find a card base and like put this image on it. Happy birthday, you know. Now, another option we have, because that's what these images are for. Like you can cut these out and put on your own card and create your own card. There's like, well, there's a couple more options. We can go to the make it now and I'll do that in a minute but we can do cartridges. So here's cartridges for birthday that have the word birthday in them. I love this one, the garden party. So there are cards in here that you can add to the birthday card or yeah, or create your own. You can just search cartridges made for cards. Um, somebody's asking me what is the benefit of access membership as opposed to uploading images. Access membership is so much easier. The Cricut Design Space uh, images are so much easier to use. They're quicker, they're easier, they're made to cut out. It's, it's so much easier, so much better. I highly recommend the access. Okay, here's some cards. If you want to make a card, I suggest going to the cartridges and looking for the cards. Look at maybe some of these designs that you like on the front. Click on them, open them up, and see if there's something there you like. Look at all these images just for cards, these cartridges. Okay, simply everyday cards. So here you can look through the cards and find a birthday. Have a very happy birthday. This is something different that you can't just like add the happy birthday image, it's actually cut out. So looking through the cartridges, you can kind of look through the styles of cartridges you want to do. There's another one down here. Happy birthday. And then cut those out. This is a dinosaur happy birthday. Does that make sense? Did I answer the question? Let's go to the projects. Um, okay, let's go to categories. Looking for a birthday card. We're going to go down to cards. Okay, now we're going to search projects here for birthday. Ta-da! There's your birthday cards. These are cards that designers have created to give you the happy birthday cards. There's 36 of them. Now, I think there's more in Cricut Design Space, not here, that you can find, but these are ones that they created for you. All right, does that answer the questions? Yes, okay. Um, more questions? There was another question on fonts. Let's go back to the canvas. Okay, to get the fonts, you have to type something. Oh, let's type good morning. Okay, so the fonts are up here. I'm just going to do Cricut fonts for now. And, oh, we want to search the fonts. What do we want to search for? Um, let me, I can't think of any fonts. I think there was one that started with the W I wanted. Oh, this has all the ones with the word W in them. Oh, that's a new one. 
Okay. So you can just search in here. Look at that. Wilma Jean. I've never seen that one. Is that brand new? It's all caps. Okay. Let's exit out of this. Somebody said a perfect day. I love that one too. I think this is, I'm not positive, but a Cricut Access exclusive. If you have Cricut Access, there are exclusive fonts and exclusive images. And it's on writing style, but we can change it to regular. Um, you can change it over here. You can change it to write. Now, because I changed it over here to write, it's going to write just the outline. If we want it to write like a writing style, then you have to click writing style here. Does that make sense? Right, Jamie. Thank you for bringing that up. Most people get stuck trying to find a single... Um, I'm going to sneeze. Excuse me. Okay. Single writing fonts. Okay, let's bring this back to normal. Let's bring this out. Delete this. Just click the X. Okay, in the fonts for Cricut, if you're on Cricut, I have not found other fonts that have writing style unless they're Cricut fonts. It says right here if it's multi-layer writing, multi-layer cutting, or writing. So this, you can over, look over here. They only always have only one layer showing. And then you can see that is the other layer. So let's check. Let's change this. Okay, we're going to look for a font. Uh, we're going to click the filter. So this is where you can filter if you just want a writing style, click writing. So now I only have the choice of writing style fonts. So which one do we want to use? Caveman carvings. Okay, I don't remember that one. Good morning. Can you guys see that? Oh, here. Did you guys know if you click this little box right here, see my mouse? This tiny box, it changes the canvas and it's not working. Oh, come on. I did that the other day. Oh, that's because I had the font thing. There we go. Okay. That's because I had this selected and it didn't work. I had to click off of that. Clicking this little box will change your canvas because okay I find this one annoying I don't like it too many squares that one is the one I use to count I just count how many inches it is and that one you can see much better thank you guys all for the God bless yous on my sneeze and thank you all for subscribing if you're not subscribed to my channel please click subscribe if you subscribe now during my live video, your name shows up on the screen. Okay, I have a question. Why do single writing fonts go into outline printing on Cricut and not solid? Okay, if I have an image like this, you cannot print this. This will unless it's letting you but then it's switching but normally what from my experience unless they've changed something um you can't you you cannot print writing fonts you cannot print on your printer 
anything that has the writing fonts. If I were to attach this, okay, let's add a shape for an example. Okay. And I've had the question, how do you make a rectangle? You just unlock the little blue thing and just drag this. This is how I do everything. I don't really measure things unless I really need it specific. And I'm going to send this to the back. And we're going to change the color so we can see it. Okay. So if I want to change this to print, I'm going to hit print. Um, you can change the to a pattern too. Let's do a rainbow. Oh, now this is taking forever probably because it's a big image. There we go. So say we're going to print this. I'm going to select it all, and I want to flatten it. The flatten button is now down here at the bottom. It's not available because you cannot write on here. Now, if I were to attach this, What this will do is this will go print. It'll print this background picture. And then when I put this in my Cricut, it will cut around here and write the good morning right on my printed picture. That's how the print works with the writing font. Okay, let's detach. Okay, now somebody, Susan is asking, are there writing fonts that are simply writing styles, not outlines? There are, I think, a, maybe not. They all will cut, it, I think. I don't remember. Nope, this one is just writing. These right here, gardenia, giraffe, gravestone, um, grown up, those are only writing styles. And this will not write the outline unless I switch it to regular. And then go over here and click write. Then it's going to write that way. See how that works? And if I wanted, I was just thinking this would be pretty. Um, let's change this back to cut. No, let's just change it to print. So I'm going to change that to print. I'm going to add a pattern. I'm going to do the same one. I'm going to see how this looks on here. It pro oh, it duplicates it. So I can edit this. Okay. Isn't that fun? Okay, that's not what this video is about, but hey. <laughs> okay, so you want to know how to edit wording once it's... It's edited. Uh, Angela's asking, how do you upload digital paper in Design Space? You click on Upload and then Pattern Fill. So it will be the Pattern Fill. 
And when you're uploading my digital paper that I create, uh, when you buy my digital paper, you get a PNG and a JPEG and a 12 by 12 and an 8.5 by 11 of each image. I suggest, depending on the size of your image, you can do either size or either like 8.5 or 12 by 12. But I suggest to upload the JPEG uh, because it's a smaller size image and it'll do it faster and it won't make design space freeze. Okay, let me go through the chat a little more. Yeah, so in the fonts, when you're choosing the fonts, click on filter if you want multi-layer. That way you'll have the ones that have um, a background or a, oh, I, do I have this? Oh, I have it set to right. Let's change it to cut. Okay, that's not giving me the whole thing. Probably because I played with that too much. But this has multi layers on it. Let's, let me do another one. Oh. Oh, because I have it as a writing style. That's why. And then you can hide the other layers. Whoops, I just hit them both. You can't really see that one too well. But see the little lines in it to show the two layers. Uh, to get the grid, it's the very top corner, right underneath undo, the, the topmost corner in the ruler. You want to know which images are purchased in the Make It Now. I'm reading, sorry, reading the more questions. Okay, I'll get to that other question in a second. Kim is asking... <sighs> Um, you guys can't see my mouse. Um, Kim is asking, so we manually click right on the font when it's going to print outline on the Cricut. I don't know what you mean. If you want it to... Print, you have to change it over here to print. Or if you want it to just write the outline, you have to click over here to just do the outline. Okay. Now, back to Jamie's question, is there a way to see which images are purchased in the Make It Now? Let's go find out. I think... Um, right here, you can click on, hmm, you can click on the Cricut Access. Um, there is a way, did you guys see these party foil projects? Love them. Let me see if there's one that I know I own some of the images. Like this one. So it shows you the images here. And this one, I'd have to pay 99 cents for. I don't own it. This one says purchase. This one was included in a Cricut Design Space mystery box. Not a Cricut Design Space, a Cricut Digital mystery box. This one was included in. And then this is a free access. 
So the only way that you know that you own them is to click on the project and go um, look. If you have Cricut Access, you can click here. They may change these things as they release Design Space 3. I thought they had one that had free images at one time. Oh, I'm so sorry. I thought you guys could see the mouse. I didn't know you couldn't see the mouse. I'm going to have to find out why you can't see the mouse and try to fix that. Okay. Thanks, guys, for your feedback. I will now know you can't see the mouse and try to tell you where I'm going. You cannot see the little gear. I don't know what little gear you're talking about. Okay, are there any more questions? Yeah, they did have free ones once. Maybe they'll bring them back. Um, oh, let me show you something else. Images. Okay. Did you guys know about the categories? I know some people don't even know they're there. Great question, Joan. I'll come right back to that. Um... Did you guys know free for the week? Every week, starting from Wednesday to Tuesday, this usually well, this usually changes. So all these images are for free to use for that week. Now, if I were to put these in a project and save the project, that doesn't mean I get to cut it out after the week. This one is also an access, so I have access, so it I get it free anyway. But if you're watching, not watching, if you don't have access and you want to cut these out, you have to cut them out now. You have to cut them out within the time that they're free. They will not be free after that. But if it's like an image, say you don't want this whole cartridge, but you really like this image, you're going to use it a lot, your son does that on his bike, and you think you can use that in a birthday card for him or something, you can buy just that image And save that forever without buying the whole cartridge or without having access. And they, you guys want to know where to, where's the feedback button again? Because I thought you could see. So I'm clicking on these three lines up at the top left corner. Right next to where it says Canvas Beta, there is a hamburger thing that's called the hamburger lines. I don't know. I call them three lines. You click on those, and then at the very, very bottom is the feedback button. So that's where you give feedback of what you want and don't want. If you want free images in the search or free, or free images you own, tell them in the feedback. Tell them what you want. Can you do a search for certain Make It Now projects? Is there a certain Make It Now project you want? Okay, there's golf cart coasters. Let's see. Golf cart coaster. Yes, you can. How do you set a canvas in Design Space 3? 
If that is something you want, you go to the feedback button, these little, three little hamburgers, and tell them in the feedback because it's not there. They, they, just, they didn't just take it away because they felt like it. They had to rebuild Design Space from scratch on a completely different platform. That took a lot of work, a lot of man hours, a lot of time to get it there for us. I think that I get no, I, Cricut doesn't tell me things, but I think Canvas may be something they'll add to it later. People are asking for curved text too. I did a survey once, would you rather have curved text, the Canvas, Canvas feature or shadow feature? Curved text was the highest on the list. So maybe they'll add curved text before Canvas, I, I have no idea. So you'll just have to learn to work without it. Just measure your project that you're actually working with and sizing it that way. Write down your measurements that you would normally use. Okay, going back to the chat. What is the difference between an image and a project? Okay, projects are projects that are completed. Um, so these are make it now projects. They have a little description. They tell you what the finished size is. They tell you materials you need and they give you directions and tell you the images. This is a font and an image. So images are just the images and you can click customize so you can change what it says. You can change the image. You can do a lot to it. Images are just that, they're images. And we're in free for the week. I never did finish the categories. Um, you can click on new to see what's new. This isn't always what's the newest images, but these are semi new. This doesn't get updated as quickly as it probably should. Um, so these are all images. And sometimes they're like completed cards are called an image also. Anything in this category is images. There are images that you may add to a project. Sometimes there are full projects in here like a card. Uh, categories. There's all these categories. And if you have a, like there's graduation, Halloween, Hanukkah, Christmas, New Year's, summer, travel. And then there's these. These are the designers. Let's click on Vintage Rivals. And if you want to purchase an image, like these are not included in Access because a designer made them, they're licensed. Um, ooh, I really like this one. So I can click on this and I can buy the image. Now let me show you how to buy an image. I have premium Cricut Access what that means is I get 50% off um, images that I purchase. It does not include major brands, like this says here, it's only 10% off the major licensed brands, like Disney and Anna Griffin. But this one, I get 50% off, so this will only cost me 49 cents. Now, before I can purchase this, I, where'd it go? Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Before I can purchase this, oh, I have to buy image. Before I can purchase this, I have to put in my password. So don't be afraid to hit the purchase button on your password, okay? Don't be afraid to put the password in. I mean, don't be afraid to click purchase because, don't be afraid to click buy image because you have to put your password in. And sometimes if you're doing a project and it makes you buy the image, don't be afraid to click purchase 
because I know a lot of people are saying, what is it charging me for? It wants me to purchase. If you click purchase, it will tell you what it's charging you for. It does not charge you until you put in your password. So I'm going to put my password in, authorize this. It didn't work. Unable to purchase. That's because my information that is in there is not correct. Because I, I don't normally purchase through Design Space. Because the information that's in there is really old. So I would have to go in there and update all that information, and I'm not updating that in a video. Okay, let's go back to the questions. Okay, somebody's asking me how to get to that screen. What screen was that? Was it the category screen? Okay, I forget you guys can't see my mouse. The images at the top, it says images. And over to the right, right in the middle top, it says images, categories, or cartridges. I'm in categories. See, it's green. The flatten feature is at the bottom of the layers panel. All the, you're used to Design Space 2 with flatten and slice and attach on top. All they did is reverse those. All those buttons are now in the bottom and all the ones that were on the bottom are now at the top. If you can learn that and remember that, it'll be much easier for you. Okay. How to customize text on a Make It Now. Let's go back to this one. We're gonna, I'm gonna click customize on this one. It says I already have a project, we're just gonna replace it. I think I showed this one in, a, in another live video. It depends on the text. Like this one is not letting me change it. This one doesn't, this one does. And I think it just depends on how, how they created it, if they have it. Um, this is just grouped together. It was totally ungrouped. Let's see what happens if I ungroup. I can change each letter, I think. No. So it just really depends on how it was created. Okay, I love how you guys are helping everybody in the chat, answering questions. Are there any other questions? Do we want to go check out more categories? Here's birthday category. There's 1,267 images. Oh, I showed you how to search that. I don't think we need that category. <laughs> Um, let's do wedding. And do you guys see how fast Design Space is? 
It's this fast while I am doing a live stream video. Where do you find the flatten image? Flatten. So I have it all selected and I want to flatten. It's down here. Do you see at the very bottom of the layers panel? It has weld, attach, and flatten. Can you guys see that? It's way down at the bottom. Do we have any other questions? Okay, before we go, if you guys have questions, I'll still answer some questions, but I want to do a few shout outs to a few of the people who support me on Patreon first. Regina, Sherry, Nettie, Amanda, Jane, Sally, Judith, Joyce, Catherine, Carrie, Shannon. Oh, that's because I have this. Regina, nope. Sherry, Nettie, Amanda, James. Hmm. Let me try this again. Regina, Sherry, go. Nettie, Amanda, Jane, Sally, Judith, Joyce, Catherine, Carrie, Shannon, Bridget, Deborah, Janet, Karen, Rose, Nala, Diana, Angela, Angela, Kathy, Melissa, Joanne, Linda, Sue, Katie, Sharon, Deb, Jacqueline, Deborah, Patty, Cheryl, Amy, Luann, Debbie, and Stacy. Thanks, guys. Okay, so let's go. Draw a square around it and flatten. Yeah, that's what I did. Like, I can flatten this, click flatten, and then it makes this all a print image, and it's only one image right here. You can't figure out how to find different font styles. Okay. So right here where it says style, you can just click this. Say I just want writing styles. Then it's going to give me just the fonts that have writing style. So any font I choose from this list. Oh, that one's not. Oh, I have to click writing style here. Sorry. So, um, in this gray box that says fonts, you see all, system, cricket, search fonts, and then just to the right of the um, magnifying glass, click filter, and then click writing. And then that will give you all fonts that have a writing style. Make sure it's on writing. And it is on writing because if I click on it, oh, it was. I turned it off. Okay, so if I click on it, see the little rectangle, that gray rectangle next to writing? That means it's choosing a writing style font. Does that make sense? Okay, <laughs> I've seen Jamie answer this question twice. I haven't seen it asked, so I'm sorry if I'm missing some of the chat. Um, somebody wants to add an image from another project. Uh, you kind of can? 
but it's just an image that you would get anywhere else. Okay, let me click my projects. Okay. Let me think of one that, okay. Okay, these are the images that I used in my project. This one is a Cricut image that I have manipulated because I add, can you see the little cut line? Oh, I'm sorry, you guys can't see my mouse. The orange 3D flower is an image that I manipulated by adding a cut line to it. Say I want to, and I also attached some writing to it, okay? So say I want to use that image in the project I'm using now. But I want it just how I have it in my small flower because that's the image I want. Otherwise, I could just go find this image in the Cricut images. So I'm going to click on that. Now why did it do that? Hmm. Maybe because I double clicked? Let's try that again. It's not letting me select it. Maybe they took that away. They used to select it. It used to select and I could bring it in, but it wasn't. When you brought it in, it was not changed at all. It was back the way it is right in Cricut Design Space. They might have taken that away. Thank you, Tamitha. Right. If you guys learned anything today, please click the thumbs up and subscribe. Uh, you want to know about the drag and drop. Okay. Um, all right, let's do that. We're going to upload an image. I'm going to upload a pattern. Uh, Angela asked about how do you upload a pattern? Now I can browse through my computer and click one, or I can just, I don't know if you guys will see this. I'm grabbing a image off of my desktop of my computer, right clicking it, holding it down, dragging it over to here and letting go of my mouse. And there it is. And so then I can save, and then I can use this as a pattern. This is one of my digital papers. Yes, flatten is only used for printing. Okay, now you're not gonna see the patterns here you will only see the pattern. Ooh, let me do this. Let's unflatten this. Oh, this is going to be fun. Okay. Let's choose this. This is the one I just uploaded. This might be a PNG, but it uploaded pretty quickly. Isn't that fun? Let's edit it so it doesn't repeat itself so much. So we're going to move it. Let me get bigger. Okay. And see, if this was a 12 by 12, I wouldn't have this little line here. We can move this. I think it's moving the wrong way. It takes a few minutes for this to work. And we can rotate it. Okay, let's see what happens. I just clicked a bunch of buttons. You can also flip it. So there it is. So we just colored the golf cart. It's much prettier now, don't you think?
Yeah, we don't know when it's going to be out of beta until it's out of beta. And make sure you subscribe to my channel because I will let you know. Um... Sandy wants to know how to customize uh, cutie planner pieces. Are those in the make it now? Planners, cutie, okay. Let's hit customize and see if it's possible. Okay, we're gonna replace. You'd like to change the month and a make it now project. Oh, so you want to change this right here? Well, this is uh, grouped and attached. You can see over here in the right. And so when I move it, it's all like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ungroup it. Ungroup is at the top of the layers panel. Okay. So now I'm going to move this over here and then we're going to detach. Because this is attached together, we're going to click Detach is at the very bottom of the Layers panel, right in the center. So I'm going to click Detach. So now, let's see if I can change this. Okay, I cannot change the font or what this says, but let's look over here. I can click here and see, see more information. Oh, see that August is just a image. It's not a font that they used. Oh, but it's in a cartridge. Let's click view cartridge. Oh, no results. It says seven, eight images. Maybe it's not a cartridge that's released yet. Okay, so the only option you have right now is to add your own text. I would click here, filter to writing style. And alien, we're changing it to the alien font. Whoops, let me grab this. And then just size it to fit in there. I mean, you, you can f pick your own font. And where's the apron? Oh, it's right at the top. You can change the color. Now you want to change it to the color that's all the font is already and it's right here. And then we want to select both of those. Attach, attaches at the bottom of the layers panel. And then bring that over and there we got a different month. And then the same here. This is grouped. You'd have to ungroup. Um, detach. And I don't know why you can't get the other months. That should be available. So I'm going to check with Cricut and find out why. Or let, you know, let them know these aren't released yet and the stickers are. So then you just do the same thing. Does that make sense? I'm reading the comments. I'm not just staring. <laughs> Any word on Mystery Box coming out? There is one. I don't know when. This month is month is almost over, so I don't know. Maybe not this month.
Okay, Jamie says that the whole cartridges is showing for, what was this called? Cutie? Um, so we're going to go to images and cartridges and is it called cutie? There it is. Okay, I didn't even know this existed. It's an access too, so it's free. So here you can go get the other images. So I'm going to click on April. We're going to insert this image. Okay, but I don't want it attached to this, so I'm going to go down at the bottom of the layers panel in the middle and click detach. I'm going to delete that. I don't need that. Here, let's just do this one. We're going to detach, and I'm sorry for saying this one, this one here. Okay. See this August here? I'm going to try to, okay, I'm going to move this out of the way because I need to attach these things to this. So I'm putting this here, arranging that to the back. Okay, so I want to select this August. We're going to move the August out of the way. We're going to put April up there. We're going to shrink down April. And we can make it like, shrink it more like that so it fits more like the August. And we're going to click over on the layers panel, that black dot. So we want to make it match the other writing. So that's blue. So that's how we change that. And then select it all and attach and bring this. This has cutout pieces, so this goes inside the cutout piece. In case you didn't know. So then you can change this every month. Okay. Yes, Joan is saying if anyone has the Cricut Access plan and they want to change it uh, to another plan, they can do it. You just, like if I have Cricut Access standard and I want premium, I can do Cricut Access premium. And this is what they did at the beginning, so I think they're still doing it. So for the months that, like say I, I bought a year of standard, I've purchased a year of Cricut Standard, let's say six months ago, and I have six months left, but now I want Cricut Access Premium. You have to buy Cricut Access Premium for the whole year, um, and I'm like looking at the camera and you guys can't even see me. So I am going to, there, now you can see me. So if I, let me skip right here. So if I have Cricut Access standard and I have six months left but I want Cricut Access Premium you have to pay for the whole year it's only twenty dollars more and by the time you buy a couple cartridges it pays for itself okay so I want to buy Cricut Access but I have six months do I have to wait six months no you can go to purchase Cricut Access Premium and they will refund you for the amount of the six months left you have and then that will be the amount that you pay. So don't be afraid to change. And you can always do, I mean, you'll know how much it is when you click on it, you know, before you actually purchase it. There are four planner cartridges. So if you guys are into planning, there's four cartridges. Yes, and I think they all are digital images, digital sets. And they are in Access, so if you have Cricut Access, they're free. And you can get Cricut Access, even if you have a Cricut Expression, you can use Cricut Craft Room. Oh my gosh, I forgot the name of it. Cricut CCR. 
Cricut Craft Room. Is that the name of it? Cricut Craft Room software? I know it's CCR. Um, and then you can use the digital images in there. You don't have to use your cartridges. Yes, thank you for the thumbs up, Tamitha. And please subscribe. I'm going to be doing these videos every Saturday, either 11 or 1. And I'll have them set up before Saturday so you can go find out. When you click on the video on my desktop, on my desktop, on my channel page on YouTube, you can, like if you click my name on this video, it'll bring you to my channel. And on that, if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see my live streams. There aren't any there right this minute. But when I do have them, they are there. Yes, and you can join my Cricut Design Space group. Jamie's sharing the links. They're also in the description below. All right. I think that's it. And this was an hour and 11 minutes. Oh my gosh, Jeannie, thank you for the super chat. I really appreciate that. And Dorothy Hot just subscribed. Thank you for subscribing. And Jeannie T Tinsley just donated $10. Thank you so much. Can we use the projects from the car in the new design space? Do I don't know what you mean. Projects in the cart? Um, your projects that were in Cricut Design Space 2 are in Cricut Design Space 3. They're in your account. Oh, so if you have CCR, maybe that's what you mean. I think that's what you mean in it. It auto-corrected to car. Um, can you use projects from CCR, Cricut Craft Room software, in Design Space, you can't. Um, it's not possible. Believe me, I've tried. It, it doesn't work. I had to copy some that I made. Like, I just recreated them. It's much easier to create in Cricut Design Space, though. But any Cricut cartridges you have linked in Cricut Craft Room are also in Design Space. They're already there. You can open Design Space, and you can play around with it. You can use the images can't cut if you don't have a Cricut Explorer machine. So if you have an old Cricut Expression machine and you want to look at all the images, you can look at them in Cricut Design Space. You can't cut from there, but you can look at the images and then see what cartridge they're on or what image set and then go try to find them in Cricut Craft Room. Lynn is trying to ask question. Hi, Sheila. You missed the whole thing. <laughs> You'll have to go back and watch. Um, there's so much chat, Lynn. I tried to just, can you make your own print and cut design? Okay. Lynn is asking if, yes, I have a hair appointment. Thanks, Joan. It's not till 2 o'clock, so I got time. Um, can you make your own print and cut image? Yeah, you can make anything print and cut. You can upload your own images. You can weld your own images together. You can change images that are in there. You and then you just select it all and flatten it, and it's a print and cut image, just like I did earlier, like with the golf cart. But I could have added my own images. I could have added my own words. I could have added more to it, could have taken stuff away, and just select it all and click flatten, and you got your own print and cut image. You can upload photos. 
I have lots of videos on uploading photos and things like that. And you can upload photos like I did a pattern and make the photo be in the Word. I have a complete video showing how to do that. Okay, I think that's it. This I, I thought I was done a half hour into it. But I like to answer all the questions. I like to try to keep this to an hour. Um, I think the size limit for DS3 is a little bigger than it was in the old one. All right, I'm so glad you guys learned. Hi, Kathy Carpenter. Yes, uh, watch the replay. People learned a lot in this. I think I learned a little too. So um, thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate all of you for watching. And for those of you who watched my Munch Pack video last night, it was not good quality. So I uploaded the better quality video because my computer saved it and my computer saved it perfectly. So I uploaded the new one so you'll be able to see all my crazy faces tasting sour stuff and gross stuff and some good stuff too. So watch that video for a few laughs and now you can see it much clearly. You can actually see my face and the chat. All right, thank you guys so much. You guys are awesome. And I will have another video coming out Tuesday and Thursday. <laughs> Bye, guys. Now I have to find the my page to stop the stream. Bye.